Okay, this is going to be the DVD update for today. Um, got several movies over the past week or so. Um, first up is a dollar DVD. It's um, six Buccaneer Tales. It's six television shows for Pirates of the High Seas. And this is starring Robert Newton. Um, for a dollar, you can't be that for six half-hour episodes. So, I mean, whether they're good or not, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's only a dollar. Then, um, the two-disc special edition of Event Horizon. And, um, along with this two-disc set came a little comic book of Iron Man. So, for ten dollars, this wasn't too bad of a deal. And plus, the movie is really good. For a sci-fi movie, I think this is really underrated. Um, except for the people who've seen it and they like it. But it's just not, I don't think it's well known enough for it to be a really big movie, which it very well should have, should be. Then, um, we have The Big Empty. And I've heard a lot about this movie, but never saw it for some reason. And it only cost two dollars, so I'll we'll have to see how good that one is. Then I got some video nasties to add to my collection of video nasties. One is the ghastly ones, otherwise known as blood rites. And this is the uncut version. And it's, uh, it's also on a double bill with Seeds of Sin, also by the, the same director. And this is, for the, for the type of movie that this is, kind of rare known, I mean, the, uh, the video quality is horrible. But it's kind of interesting to know that this movie was lost for, it was lost or something like that for a, a long time. And there's quite a lot of special features for this type of movie. But um, the ghastly ones for being a video nasty, it's it's decent, it's fair. There's a few good scenes, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you're a video nasty enthusiast. Then another video nasty, um, along with a double bill, um, Night of the Bloody Apes. And this one's a bit better than the ghastly ones. Um, there's it's it's just a basic it's a just a basic video nasty, really um, one of the lower end types. The guy, uh, this doctor trans tries to save his son, so he uh, does a heart transplant with a gorilla, and of course the uh, the son turns into a half man, half ape, and goes on a rampage. And then there's a there's a second plot of a, a female wrestler. It's a crazy movie. And the double bill is Feast of Flesh, another another movie. So again, um, a, d a decent movie, but only recommended if you like video nasties. And the third video nasty is a uh, highly recommended vi video nasty. I really enjoyed this one. It's a uh, Twitch of the Death Nerve, and this is the widescreen uncut version. And um, again. I mean, this is this is really famous for being a predecessor to um, Friday the Thirteenth. Um, one of the main characters has the same sweater that the murderer in Friday the Thirteenth wears, and also a death in this is very similar to a death in Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. It's where the um, two people get kind of skewered with a I guess it was like a uh, like a spear. Um, yeah, two people got skewered with a spear in bed, and the same murder happened in Friday the 13th Part 2. So I don't know if, how well they're related, but... So this is a very gory movie, and it's... Of about half the video nasties, half of them deserve to be on the list, and the other half really don't. Um, but this one does. And so, but a highly recommended video nasty. And then the fourth video, Nasty, is uh, Bloody Moon. And this got a, and this is of course a Jess Franco movie. And for me, a Jess Franco movie, I really liked it. I was actually surprised how much I really liked this. And I look forward to the, um, the, the newer version coming out in July. But um, 
Now this movie is going to be re-released re actually on a US DVD. This is this is from overseas. I believe it was uh, Denmark. He released a DVD of this, very rare, rare. But they're finally re-releasing it here in America in late July. And I recommend getting that Bloody Moon.